Hi, uh, this is a quick video uh, just to show you how to add some borders to your uh, photos. Uh, that might be for, in the case of club competitions, for projection, probably only a couple of pixels, uh, to how you'd actually uh, put a border on if you were going to print and maybe mount it in a frame. So I'll give you two alternatives here. The first one is probably the easiest. Just click on uh, your main background and in the effects layer uh, panel you have an uh, um, outline you've got these are two sides you, you have to tick it to enable it but you also have to click on it to get the right menu otherwise what you can end up with is you think you've ticked it uh, but you may not have the, the right um, uh, menu so right once that's lined up you can pick your colour, and in this case I'm going to pick white. Um, the alignment, in this case I'm going to go for inside, and then I pick a radius. And as I increase it, I get a white border around the image. Now, as I said, in, in the case of uh, some competitions, normally they only, they only want a couple of pixels. So you can literally just type in, in the value you want and when that's projected onto a black screen um, it will just give a nice edge to the to the image particularly if it's got very dark um, uh, sides to the image. Now you can of course um, uh, do, do more than that, you can increase it and you might not want white if you click on the panel a nice thing to do is pick a complementary colour. So you can just come in here with the picker. Oops, sorry, lost that. Come in with the picker and just pick uh, one of the nice colours off the uh, image. So it puts in that little dropper there. Just click on it and it will change. Okay, so that's the first method. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, get rid of that. The second method is to actually just resize the document. So the best thing to do is you, you need a background. So we'll go to layers, um, uh, new fill layer, got a white one. Just move that underneath your photo. There we go. Come up to the little uh, move tool, click on that, click on the background you'll see it highlight and I can just drag it in oh if it's the background you have to unlock it any other layer you can, you can change uh, but just move it in to either side and you can basically mount your your image now what you can see there is as I move it around you get the green line and the red line and when they both match up that means your photos slap bang in the middle and you can do it that way. Another way is if I undo that, if I hold the control key as I pull the corner in, it will shrink it by the center. You can just pull it in and out as you like and just center it. And once you've got it like that, if you were going to print this for instance, um, you might want to um, again use an effect so just pick the background go to fx and you might want to have a, an outer shadow just click on that if we just zoom up a little bit just to give it a little bit of depth you can just add an offset the radius and then an offset and you can just see a faint shadow effect it just gives it that little bit of 3D feel to it, which is quite nice. All right. Finally, again, if, if you've got a print with a border, you might not have the right size image for the paper, or you might want to mount it um, directly size for size. So if you, if you know what uh, paper size you're going to actually use, 
what you can do is just do file um, new and actually pick your paper size so in this case I'm going to pick um, A2 uh, but I want it um, uh, not portrait landscape and hit create that gives me a blank piece of paper of the correct size now again I'll just add um, a fill there just so it's got a white background I'll go back to my original image and I'll copy that and paste it in now the nice thing about this is here's my my image and it's actually giving me what DPI I would actually achieve so it's an A2 uh, 300 DPI would be a very good uh, print um, lots of detail um, but you'd expect 300 DPI on something like an A4 maybe A3 when you're getting up to A2 that, that's probably not necessary so if I want to fill this if I just move up and then just start dragging the corner as I pull that out it's actually telling you what DPI you're going to get when you print which is a very useful piece of information because uh, your photo may have been heavily cropped but you're not quite sure how it will print and this will give you a very good idea of, of uh, what will happen so let's just move that there we go let's just get the green and the red there we go slight bang in the middle and we know that we can print this at a2 um, at about 230 dpi thank you